name is Carlo Damiani. I work in Fusion for Energy as project manager for the ITER remote handling systems. We are at VTT Technical Research Center of Tampere, Finland, where some key operations and technologies for ITER remote handling are being executed. Remote handling helps us in performing operations at distance because it may be dangerous or even impossible to be physically present where it is actually executed. It is used widely underwater or ground operation or even for space exploration missions. Think about the Mars rovers, for example. Remote handling relies on high-tech robotics, sophisticated networking and virtual reality platforms. The operator performing the operation at distance must keep everything under control and must perform the tasks with millimetric accuracy. Among the many advantages of fusion energy, there is the small quantity and limited lifetime of the radioactive waste produced. We need to perform maintenance, inspection and repair of the ITER components radioactive by remote handling. We are speaking about bulky components that weigh several tons. Europe's contribution to ITER remote handling is in the range of about 250 million. Fusion for Energy and its suppliers will have to deliver the diverter remote handling system, the neutral beam remote handling system, the cask and plug remote handling system, and last but not least, the in-vessel viewing and metrology system. Remote handling offers the possibility to industries, SMEs and uh, national laboratories to work on innovation and to think out of the box. It involves the use of technologies linked to virtual reality and force feedback manipulators, for example. A tremendous amount of engineering will be required and thanks to ITER, we will develop new know-how for the next generation fusion reactors. My name is Salvador Esque. I work in Fusion for Energy as a technical officer for remote handling systems. The ITER diverter is located in the lower part of the vessel. It is made of 54 cassettes, like this one, each one weighing 10 tons. This is where the super hot plasma temperatures will be most felt. The diverter will absorb the heat from the plasma and will shield the lower part of the vessel. The cassettes will be cooled by water pipes running through them. You can think of the diverter as a massive ashtray where hot ashes and impurities will be diverted to by powerful magnetic fields. During the operation of ITER, it is foreseen to replace the cassettes three times by the diverter remote handling system due to the erosions and damage that they may experience. This is a real-size prototype of a cassette. The 54 cassettes will be transported by two movers through the ITER maintenance ports, where space is limited and space is tightly confined. It's almost like a camel going through the eye of a needle. Then a manipulator will lock the cassettes into the vessel and weld the cooling pipes to the cassette. A reverse sequence will then be followed to remove the 54 cassettes from the vessel. VTT has been hosting a test facility, DTP2, which stands for Diverter Test Platform. DTP2 is used to develop and test remote handling operations for ITER diverter area. VTT, together with Tampere University of Technology, have been involved in the very early concept designs, in the full designs, and in building up the final mockups. We have also used this platform to train new experts in the area of remote handling and systems engineering. In fact, the number of experts has risen from only a couple to dozens. We have also planned the test procedures and carried out the full tests to ensure the, the overall functionality of the system, like we have seen in today's demonstrations. Tooling is a fundamental part of, of the development work of remote handling systems. 
and there's a accuracy level is very high and the dexterity they are very important because, because we have very small clearances and we have to meet the requirements that we have there. And today we have been here testing the ITER central cassette remote handling operations and for that we have developed and designed it and manufactured end effectors and other tooling, toolings to meet the requirements for ITER remote handling operations.